Hello, I'm the Sleep Time Storyteller. My name's Julie Kelly and tonight I'm going to take you on a journey into deep, undisturbed, relaxed sleep. Before we start, if you can, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the bell icon. This way you get to know when any new bedtime stories are released. Also, please like, share and comment on this video. I do listen to your feedback and it also helps people find out about my videos. But for now, relax in the bed while you're sleeping. Snuggle up under that duvet or blankets and get yourself into a nice, warm, comfy position. Breathe gently and easily. Don't force the breath, just let it go. As you breathe out, let your body relax deeper and deeper into the mattress. And as you feel your body come heavier, start to be aware of any areas that feel tense or tight and just let them relax. Let your whole body relax. And as you relax, you become aware of a beautiful moon shining down from your window. It's so beautiful and bright. And you really, really want to share that light. And so you put on your warm coat and your gloves and you decide to go for an evening walk. The air is cold outside, but you feel safe and it's a familiar path. You can see your breath in front of you, but the moon shines her light down and illuminates the way for you. The evening is silent and you seem to be the only person around. The quietness makes the stones underneath your shoes seem amplified. But you walk down and down and down the winding dirt path. There's no houses around and this is what makes the little flickering light in the distance so mysterious. You haven't noticed that before and you've done this walk many times. How intriguing, what could that be? Well, you stand for a while and look across. There's no houses, Nobody around, no buildings, just this flickering light. And so you decide to go over and investigate. You pull your scarf tighter around you to keep you warm as you hurry over to where the light's coming from. Maybe someone started a fire. It would just be nice to put your hands over and warm them. But as you move closer, you realise that it's not a fire. It looks like a flickering candle. The flame isn't big enough for a fire. And as you get closer, you notice it's a little log cabin that somebody has made. It's not very big and it's certainly not neat. It's just a few pieces of wood thrown together. But someone was staying there once. 
Will you look around and it's tidy inside? Someone has made a makeshift fireplace and there's some cushions in front. There's even plastic at the windows to keep the draft out and a little makeshift door. Someone has been there because the candle is still lit. But there doesn't seem to be anyone around now. And so you go inside. It's strange really, but the place is quite clean and tidy. Someone seems to have taken great care. Well, just as you start to get yourself organised inside, it seems that a storm has started. You can hear the rain coming down on the window panes. You've always thought there's been something quite relaxing and hypnotic about rain as it taps and trickles down the windows. And this is no different. As the rain taps on the plastic, it reminds you of times when you sat in front of the fire, keeping warm, as storms howled round when you were a child. Actually, you think about getting the fire going. It just so happens you've got a cigarette lighter in your pocket that you use to light candles. And so you manage to get the fire going because it's already stacked with wood. Well, soon the fire starts to take hold and you wedge the door closed so that the heat stays in. The storm outside seems to be getting worse and you can hear the wind howling round your little place of sanctuary. The fire's roaring now and your room is lovely and warm. You stand for a while and listen to the sounds. So peaceful, so calm and so relaxed. Maybe you'll set off later to go back home. Or maybe you'll stay here for a little while longer. Now, you think about relaxing in front of that fire. After all, there's a pile of cushions there. Why not make use of them? And so, you lay yourself down and curl up. Oh, it's so beautiful to feel the warmth of that fire. The more you relax, the louder the wood seems to crackle. Loud crackles, pops and sparks. It's like a whole symphony. And the storm outside howls with the occasional crash of thunder. And as you listen, you feel more and more relaxed. Your eyes start to become heavy. Everything feels peaceful and calm. The sounds seem to hypnotize you and send you deeper and deeper and deeper into relaxation. And so as you fall asleep and let go, you relax and drift for the rest of the night. Sleep well, my friend. <laughs>